Do you know how to choose a method to solve a quadratic equation? Well, there are many different methods for solving quadratic equations, and you have already learned them. Let's take a look at what you've already learned in earlier concepts. You know how to solve a quadratic equation by graphing. You've also learned how to factor a quadratic equation, and this is the perfect method when you have a perfect square trinomial. That's easy to break down, then factoring makes the most sense. You've also learned how to take the square root, and that makes the most sense when the equation is in the form 0 equals ax squared minus c. You've learned how to complete the square, and this is the perfect method for transforming a quadratic equation into vertex form. And finally, you've learned how to use the quadratic formula. And using the quadratic formula is perfect when you have an equation in standard form. Now, let's look at some different equations and see if you can figure out which method is the best method to solve each quadratic equation. Let's look at a first example. x squared minus 64 equals 0. Now, if you're not sure, go back and look at your list. But, you'll see that this equation is in the same form as ax squared minus c, which means it makes sense if we take the square root of this equation. To do that, let's solve it. We want to get x alone, so we're going to add 64 to both sides. This cancels. Bring down the x squared equals 64. Now we can take the square root of both sides. These cancel, and we're left with x equals 8. We have solved the equation, and our work is done. Now, let's look at another one. 4x squared plus 6x equals 8. Now first, we want to get this equation to equal 0. So we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. And when we do that, we end up with 4x squared plus 6x minus 8 equals 0. Now our, our equation is in standard form, and it makes sense to use the quadratic equation, the quadratic formula, to solve it. Here's the quadratic formula once again. Now the values for a from our equation is 4, that's the value for a, the value for b is 6, and the value for c is negative 8. We're going to substitute all of these values into the quadratic formula and solve for x. We have x equals negative 6 plus and minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 4 times negative 8 divided by 2 times 4. Let's multiply and combine what we can and then look at solving to our next step. Here we have negative 6 plus and minus the square root of 36 minus a negative 128 divided by 8. We have a double negative here. We can make that a positive. And now we can combine again right here. Negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 164 divided by 8. The square root of 164 is equal to 12.8, and we divide that whole thing by 8. When we do this, we end up with x equals 0.85 for one of our equations, and x equals negative 2.35 for our other equation. Remember, we have two answers because there is a plus and a minus. This is our answer, and our work is complete.